Welcome to Probably Nothing, the IOTA and Shimmer news. I'm Alexander and we'll pick up where we left off. Let's get started. First, there's a minor update from the IOTA MPC bridge. In early October, there was a brief outage of the bridge due to a lack of gas for validation. This was quickly fixed, although it's worth noting that over 2000 transactions were processed in that day. Also, in early October, IOTA released a video about their IOTA 2.0 series, this time covering digital autonomy. This video will soon be translated into German. Next, there was a blog post about the already released Stardust upgrade. This upgrade introduces a tokenization framework and allows L2 smart contract chains to be anchored to it. There will also be a fork of the former IOTA network, leading to two versions iota based on the stardust protocol with increased supply and iota classic based on the stardust protocol but with the old supply users who previously staked for assembly tokens will receive an airdrop displayed in the firefly wallet about 10 percent of the airdrop will be immediately available after the stardust upgrade is completed with the rest being paid out every two weeks over 24 months Users don't need to take any action to migrate tokens to the IOTA Stardust network or access the airdropped IOTR tokens. Build5 published an article about the build economy. The goal is to promote global acceptance of IOTA. The build token designed as a governance and coordination mechanism is supported by Web3 incentives and API fees. The acquisition of build tokens is possible by holding or staking soon tokens and there will be no ICO. Binance has confirmed support for IOTA 2.0 in a brief announcement. Shimmer EVM has been supported by Gecko Terminal since the 4th of October 2023. At geckoterminal.com you can now see all the statistics for Shimmer EVM and the individual providers. Then on the 4th of October 2023 there was the big update to IOTA 2.0. Sunavas also migrated in this process. A day later, Shimmer C published its white paper. OnRamp.money now supports IOTA. This opens up countries like Nigeria, Indonesia, India, UAE, Turkey and Mexico. There was a small blog post and a video on how to buy the IOTA tokens and deposit them in the Firefly wallet. Nakama Labs is testing oracles from Pyth and is very excited. In Web3 technologies, oracles play a crucial role by acting as bridges between blockchain-based smart contracts and real data sources. They are especially important for decentralized financial applications, DeFi, as they provide accurate real-time market data. Oracles come in two main forms, price feeds and data oracles. They enable smart contracts to react to market changes thus contributing to the efficiency and security in the DeFi area. The Path Network is an example of an Oracle service provider that offers legally secured and fast data updates for DeFi platforms. Oracles are therefore indispensable for the functionality and further development of Web3 technologies. Also, from the patent side, there are news. Wanderer found the following patent from Bank of America. A bridge protocol and a conversion machine are needed to establish the connection between technologies and their different ecosystems so that currencies can be forwarded to external accounts or digital wallets. IOTA is not mentioned as the solution, but one of many. In the IOTA 2.0 campaign series, the next contribution from IOTA was data flow explained. The blog post explains the workings of IOTA 2.0 through its data flow. This flow describes the process by which data is used to construct the network and generate further data for distribution. The IOTA protocol consists of three layers. 
Network, Communication and Application. Nodes in the network exchange necessary data for operation, while the communication layer manages block connections in the tangle with the help of rate control and congestion control. The application layer handles block contents and payloads to maintain the ledger state and enable consensus. The data flow divides block processing into components like parser, storage, solidifier, booker, scheduler and tip manager, ensuring efficient and robust functioning of IOTA 2.0 even under high load. Dominic gave an interview at CoinMarketCap about the newly released Tutos.o upgrade. The interview is in English and lasts about an hour. The third quarter report also appeared as a blog post. Essentially, it's nothing new for viewers of the Probably Nothing videos, but here's a brief summary. In the third quarter of 2023, the Elta Foundation recorded significant developments including the introduction of Shimmer EVM and preparations for the IOTA 2.0 protocol update. The governance processes of IOTA and Shimmer were improved and the assembly project was discontinued in favor of the IOTA chains and L1 smart contracts. The development of IOTA 2.0 focused on decentralization and parallelization of the protocol. There were advances in research including the smart contract research and ledger research teams, as well as in the development of new incentive mechanisms and the IOTA Core software. The foundation also worked on user experience, including Firefly IOTA and Firefly Shimmer, and the introduction of IOTA 2.0 with a series of blog posts and videos. With the update to IOTA 2.0, the wiki page was also revised. Sad news came on the 11th of October 2023 from Marianne de la Roche. She announced her departure from the IOTA Foundation by the end of the year. We thank her for representing IOTA at so many events and wish her all the best. The Artio Group has been using IOTA, which is well known. Now, Green City Constance has received 12 stationary IoT weather stations. However, it is not clear from the article whether these weather stations are connected to the Tangle. The Bloom Wallet is now officially available for use, officially introduced by the IOTA Foundation on the 12th of October with a blog post. Bloom, a user-centered desktop wallet with top-tier security, will offer new features such as full EVM support and DAP connections via Wallet Connect. It allows users to seamlessly transfer assets between Shimmer and Shimmer EVM and will support the entire IoT ecosystem in the long term. Bloom, building on the solid foundation of Firefly, aims to simplify and develop the Web3 wallet experience. The project is a significant step for the IoT Foundation and the crypto community, contributing to the development of IOTA 2.0 and the entire Web3 ecosystem. Last but not least, the article about accounts, tokens, Imana, and staking for the IOTA 2.0 update. The tokenomics model of IOTA 2.0 is built around two main components, IOTA tokens and MANA. These elements are accessible through decentralized accounts. The IOTA tokens, limited in supply to prevent inflation, grant owners voting rights. Token holders can stake their tokens to validate the network or delegate them to validators. MANA, generated by holding IOTA tokens, allows for various network activities without intermediaries. Validators and delegators are rewarded with MANA instead of fees, reinforcing the principles of fairness and decentralization in the IOTA ecosystem. That's it for this episode of Probably Nothing. Meanwhile, the price has risen and many suddenly see a development. Yet the fact that the price has nothing to do with development remains a book with seven seals for many. Thanks to all my supporters as channel subscribers and Patreon thanks to all viewers until next time.